Oh, yes, lovely champion. Check out those massive AP ratios on this support mage champion. Mm. Sona is one of the oldest and still most popular champions in the game of the past 10 years. And why? <coughs> because of her relatively low skill level, simplicity, and high impact in gameplay. And massive tits. In the lore! Well, in the very old lore before it was all retconned. I haven't actually checked the new lore, so uh, yeah. Soda was a mute. She would telepathically link with you, and that's how you could communicate, hence the Only you can hear me, summoner! line. Yeah, that's why, in fact, a bunch of champions actually used to directly talk to the player through the screen. You only need to click once, fool! But then he went all Thanos and stuff, but that's a thing for a future video. Anyway, Soda, 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 let's look at Soda, the saucy booby mage. Similar to Pike, Soda is the KS Queen, okay? She is the queen of kill stealing. Now, you might think she's a support, and I did say that she's a support, but I'm completely wrong. She's a full AP secondary carry. Glossing quickly over the passive witches. <laughs> Let's start with her Q, okay? So her Q, like some sort of 80s Hermel icon. She literally fires power cords out of her piano keyboard harp. It's called an Etoile. I think that's the correct. <laughs> the con I think that's the correct pronunciation. And it hits the two closest enemies, dealing damage and doing other things that I won't mention. W. Sona sends out a beam of healing to her lowest health ally, and also anyone who happens to be standing in the circle around her kind of gets a trendy shield too, so doing things like Baron is really good. You want to support a champion who's actually useful and not a pile of dog arse? Then pick Sona. She's actually useful. Heals, AP bursts, built-in Lich Bane, shields, ooh, but wait, there's more! E has an aura of movement speed. When you press E, you and your nearby allies speed up and get the hell in or out of a trendy situation. Pussying out of a barren fight? <coughs> eh, well, sure. Now all three of these skills have a relatively <coughs> Now all three of these skills have a relatively low cooldown, so you can spam them like <coughs> Sure, that's great. But let's talk real quick about the ult, the only one without a low cooldown, but it's worth it. It's the Crescendo. Okay, it's beautiful. I think it actually is called Crescendo. I forget. Let me check the wiki. Nah, I don't care. Anyway, similar to Yumi's ult, which I'm going to steal the animation from because I'm lazy, uh, it sends out a shockwave of music, really, and it does magic damage, and it's a burst. It's an AP burst. And this shockwave stuns everyone in place, but wait, there's more! You're not just stunned, no. It forces the dance animation of any champion. So what do we build, Key Soner Boner? Oh, well, normally I have a gimmick build, so if the champion's got a sword, I say build all the sword items. Or if the champion has a lizard, I'd say build all the lizard items. But today, I'm going to give you something a little bit more real, okay? Real power move here. Obviously get a Lich Bane and then build whatever you want afterwards. But also, early on, get a Medjize. Tell your AD carry that you're not a support to be messed with. You're going to be collecting stacks faster than an ego collects sims. It's going to be fantastic. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to nab yourself a Trind exclusive Chrome with League Partner Program, then follow our Twitter and come on my stream right now. Links are in the description. I am live. My name is Chef. Yes, yes, yes.